said Thomas. I'm stuck. And he was. Back, Thomas, back, said his driver. Thomas tried, but his wheels spun and he couldn't move. The conductor went back for help, while everyone else tried to dig the snow away. But as fast as they dug, more snow slipped down until Thomas was nearly buried. Oh, my wheels and coupling rods! I shall have to stop here till I'm frozen! What a silly engine I am! And Thomas began to cry. At last, a bus came to rescue the passengers. And then, who should come to Thomas's rescue but Terrence? Snow never worries him. He pulled the empty coaches away, then came back for Thomas. Thomas's wheels were clear, but still spun when he tried to move. Terence tugged and slipped, and slipped and tugged, and at last dragged Thomas clear of the snow, ready for the journey home. Oh, thank you, Terence. Your caterpillars are splendid, said Thomas. I hope you'll be sensible now, Thomas, said his driver. I'll try, said Thomas, and he puffed slowly away. 